Let's talk about how companies decide which broker to go on the road with. And this is a big challenge for investor relations yes. officers. They have a lot of analysts covering them. They have a lot of firms wanting to work with them. What are some of the criteria that they use? Well, there's a lot of nuance here depending on the type of corporate, right? So a large cap versus a small cap or whatnot. But I think the number one driver is analyst coverage. So for the most part, again, if this is if corporate access is increasingly important, there's more asks to the corporates. One of the ways that they're going to trim their list and make their decision is who has, who's covering their company. Um, it's not an exclusive factor, and we'll see actually in, in the survey that you guys are public, just published, it does mention that you see more small caps willing to participate and work with a broker who doesn't cover them. But in general, I think that's one of the first ways that corporates will cut their list. And then I think what, what they try and do is be thoughtful about allocating, again, their scarce resource of their time with those brokers. In, in general, we're seeing them do at least one touch point with each covering broker per year, whether that's a conference, an NDR, mm -hmm. whatever it might be. What about negative ratings? Now, this is something, you know, investors actually tell us they love it when a company goes uh, on the road with an analyst with a negative rating. A lot of companies say yes in our survey. Some still say no. What's your view on that? I think, again, it depends. It's going to oftentimes depend on the corporate. We've seen sometimes in the past, we've had analysts um, approach a corporate who they have a negative rating on and sometimes the corporates really want to work with that analyst to make sure they understand the story because they want to make sure that that if the analyst is getting it wrong they want to be able to explain themselves it can be very powerful to partner with um, an analyst who has a negative rating retail distribution is a criterion for choosing a broker it might seem like a softball question given Bank given of america, Bank of america, america Lynch. Lynch. I think that I think retail distribution can be very critical. I, I think what that really speaks to, though, corporates are looking at who they want to partner with for different events, understanding the competitive advantage that each broker has mm -hmm. and capitalizing on that to create the best solution for what the companies are looking so for. So the is right, the right mix. You, yeah, exactly. You don't have to go with one all the time. You I mean, I should tell you that everyone <laughs> should do all of their corporate right. access exclusively with us. But I do think that that's what companies are doing. I think that's what they should be doing. You can complement one with the other. Absolutely. Um, the kind of things that you can do before a roadshow and after a roadshow is not because this is not just about setting up a meeting and organizing a car, right? Right. What, what, what do companies need now? And, cause, and are you stepping up in terms of what you can give them? We do peer studies. We try and understand where they may be under owned, where they may be underrepresented, who hasn't heard their story. We try to make sure we're um, preparing both the companies and the investors so that they can really have a more meaningful conversation and interaction. I think that's really important. I think that's something we, we really want to make sure. Is that even more key for small caps? much more key for small caps. Um, and again, part of that what, that makes a lot of sense if you think about it because a large cap, most people will, will already know a whole lot about. A small cap needs a partner to help sell their story and make sure that you can get the investor interested to go to the meeting. And that's one of the things we, we frankly, within Corporate Access, partner very strongly with our sales force to make sure we're pre-selling um, to create a quality interaction. Mm -hmm.